Well, here's a real stinker, I'll tell you what. No, it's not, it's still, don't worry about it, okay? It'll all fall into place. We have an order to give some potassium phosphate, whatever that stuff is, sounds delicious. And I'm gonna, oh my goodness, what in the world could this mean? I'm gonna give Ada, whatever that means, per hour. Well, that stands for this, milliosmoles. You've not seen this before. You don't have to know what it means. Is it, you know, how much, it, it doesn't matter how much a milliosmole is, just know that's the measurement I'm using for this particular stuff called potassium phosphate. But I'm gonna have to give my patient eight, whatever those things are, milliosmoles per hour. And I've got what? I've got 50 milliosmoles dissolved in 250 milliliters of this 0.9% NaCl. Now let me caution again. Many times the names of the IV fluids will have numbers in them. That number is not a part of the problem. That's just the name of the IV fluid. So how strong is the stuff I've got that I'm gonna give my patient to drip into that patient's body? It's this strong. That's got 50 milliosmoles dissolved in 250 milliliters of the IV fluid. But at what rate am I going to give it? This, at eight milliosmoles per hour. Let's say again, if you were told, I'm gonna to give 250 milliliters over the next whatever number of hours, I divide this by the number of hours and that's all. But I'm not doing that. I don't even know how long I'm giving it. I have an order for eight milli osmoles per hour. You write it that way. So there's the order. I need to know now how strong is my IV fluid. Well, I've got it right here. I've got 50 milli osmoles. That's a capital O, by the way. The other one's a little bitty. In 250 milliliters. It's just like a plain old dosage calculation problem. And what cancels out? Those weird sap suckers right there, okay. The milliosmoles cancel, and what's left? Milliliters per hour. What's my math? Eight times 250 divided by 50. Now you can do that. Eight times 250, then divided by 50. And the answer is, I did it wrong. Clear. Eight, this is embarrassing. Eight times 250 divided by 50. And the answer is 40. I'm gonna drip 40 milliliters per hour. But that canceling zero thing, here we go again. The more zeros there are, the greater the chances of making a mistake by punching in the wrong number of zeros. So if you cancel them out, the rule is for every zero on top, cancel out a zero on the bottom. And now it's just eight times 25 divided by five, and it's gonna be the same answer, 40. So it doesn't matter. If this is told to you so many milligrams per hour or grams per hour or micrograms per hour or milliosmoles per hour, we'll see some letter units per hour. It's all done the same way. Whatever the order is and whatever weird thing here, you'll be told how much of that stuff there is in some given amount of IV fluid and set it up this way. I do have some other, with again, some slight variations. I want you to see them also. So keep watching.